Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three holiday nail designs that are glamorous and on trend for the holiday season. Today's video is brought to you by Sally Beauty. And whether you're picking up something for the beauty lover on your list or maybe treating yourself this holiday season, Sally Beauty is the one stop shop for all things hair and nails. And they have some incredible deals going on right now. So be sure to check out the link down below. And I'll, of course, have all of the products used for these looks. In in the description as well. A big thank you again to Sally Beauty for their continued support on this channel. All right, so let's get started. For these looks, I am gonna be using some fake nails because I wanted to make all these looks a little extra glamorous because it is the holiday season, of course. These are just some full coverage nails that I got from Sally Beauty and I applied them with nail glue because I wasn't gonna be wearing these that long. And then I did go ahead and file them because I'm going to apply gel over top and I wanna make sure it adheres to these nails properly. For these designs, I'm gonna be using the Naturalism by Finger paints gel line. I'm really liking this gel right now. It is eco-friendly and plant-based so I feel pretty good about using it and they have lots of really pretty colors for the holiday season. So I went ahead and I applied that base gel and then I cured. For the first look I'll be using this shade which is a creamy beige a little bit peachy of a color and I will be doing a French manicure so I thought this would make the perfect base color for that. I'm applying a thin coat of this to all of the nails curing it under the light, and then I'm gonna apply a second coat of this. Lately, I have been turning my hands like this when I'm doing my gel, because I find I can easily get that brush up into the very edge of my nail without flooding my cuticles. So I really like doing it this way, and then if I need to, I can turn my hand around and smooth everything out, but I definitely like to turn my hand to face me nowadays when doing gel. Okay, so now that I have my base color on, I'm next gonna use this shade, which is a really pretty festive red, and I'm gonna use a detail brush, and I'm gonna mark the very center of the free edge of my nail. We're gonna use this to create a guide for the French tip. Now, Chevron French manicures are super trendy this season. French tips have been super popular all of this year, but now we're seeing this little bit of an edgy variant to the trend, and I really like it. It is not new by any means, if you've been around the nail art community for a while, but it's back and it's still super fun. It's classic because it is that French tip, but of course you get a little sharper of a shape. So I really like it and it is really fun to try for the holiday season. So I just created a V shape using that center line as the center guide for this shape. And then I'm gonna use the brush from the bottle to fill it in. And then I went ahead and cured that and I'm gonna show you that all again. So I created a center line right in the very center of the free edge and then I'm going to draw a diagonal line across to that so that it meets in the middle and then do the same thing on the other side and this is going to give you as symmetrical as possible of a shape. You can of course use striping tape if you prefer or painter's tape but I prefer to freehand things but do whatever you're more comfortable with and then give it a full cure and if you need to you can always add a second coat to get the color opaque. Now I'm gonna finish with a layer of top coat to make this mani extra shiny, give it one final cure, and then I'm gonna use rubbing alcohol on a lint-free wipe to remove that sticky layer. And here is that first mani, I love it. It is classic, but a little edgy, and that red French tip is just so fun for the holiday season. But you can of course make this your own and do any color you'd like. Moving on to the second design, I'll again be using another gel from the Naturalism by Finger Paints line. This one is a sheer milky color, and I'm going to do two coats of this, curing in between each coat.
Now I'm going to take the color First Snow, which is a white color, and I'm going to draw in the free edge of my nail pretty roughly. I'm not too worried about the shape here, but I do wanna make sure there's plenty of product on the nail because next I'm gonna be using a tiny little detail brush and I'm gonna create small circles along this edge to blend this white into the base color. And I don't have anything on the rest of my nail. I'm essentially just blending this into the sticky layer be using this super tiny brush and creating tiny circles is what's going to give you a seamless effect and because this is gel it will naturally self level which also helps with that blended look I also did take that white a little higher up onto my nail, like it was a stronger French tip, because I am gonna apply another layer of the white a little further down so that the opacity of the white is gradual on the nail. I am doing these designs in gel, but you can absolutely do all of these in regular lacquer if you prefer. Just use the old sponging method for this gradient and you'll have virtually the same effect. So I cured that first layer of the white and here I am going back in with the white and I'm applying it a little bit higher up so you can see that concentration in the color is a little more saturated towards the tip to give you that seamless French fade effect. And you can stop here with your base but I can't leave well enough alone so I'm gonna use this glitter that I really like. It's called Atomic and it has the tiniest little gold glitters in it and it's a really sparse glitter glitter so don't use this for building up and making a glitter manicure but for over top of a design like this it is gorgeous and spoilers I'm gonna be adding some more sparkle to this design next so I thought might as well another big trend this season is 3d decor and again it's not new but it's back and i love it so for this design i'm going to first apply a top coat to seal in all that work we did and by the way you can totally stop there with that manicure it is so pretty and festive on its own like that but if you're a little extra or you want a little extra sparkle you can add some 3D rhinestones, and I just apply these with nail glue, but if you prefer, you can also attach these with the gel and then cure that in the light, and that'll also give you a really good hold. And I'm just staggering the size of these, and I'm kind of trying to make it go gradually up my nail like the French fade, but here is the finished result. Ah, it's so fun. So fun. You wanna elevate a plain outfit this season? Pop on a manicure like this. This is gonna be the showstopper. Moving on to the final design, I'll be using this gorgeous purple shade in the color Starring Roll. And I'm also going to do sort of a guide system. I'm gonna create a line down the center of my nail, but not have it touch the top of my nail. And then I'm gonna create two diagonal lines that attach to that to create a V shape only over the moon area of my nail. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in with the brush from the bottle. So this design incorporates two trends that are super popular this season. One is the cutout half moon and the other is metallic finish, which will come into play a little bit later in this mani. Once you have the first layer on, it's much easier just to use the brush from the bottle to fill in the nail. You don't really have to go back in with that detail brush because you kind of already have that guide in, but if you prefer, you can always use a nail art brush. Okay, so I went ahead and I cured that. Now I'm gonna be using this beautiful chrome striping tape. You guys know what this stuff is, but it is so nice to use as an accent for a design. And I'm gonna be doing something a little bit abstract here. I applied one piece down the center of my nail, and then I took only one piece along one side of that cutout V shape. I really liked how this looked, and I love how it just incorporates that really pretty chrome effect to this manicure. And striping tape can be a little fiddly, to work with so some tips I have are if you're working with gel just make sure to remove the sticky layer first so that the tape actually sticks to the nail and then I like to use long needle nose tweezers to apply and be sure to use cuticle nippers to cut the tape flush with the nail 
Then be sure to do a generous layer of top coat to seal that tape in. And there you have a finished manicure, perfect for the holiday season. If you give any of these looks a try, I would love to see how it turns out for you. You can always share your pictures with me on all my social medias that I'll have listed down below. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. And if you ever have any video requests or ideas, you can always share them in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.